The Luka Doncic train rolls on. He was spectacular again on Monday night, 38, 11, and 8. But the Dallas Mavericks fell to the defending champions, 130 to 104. No Kyrie Irving in this one for the Mavericks. Nick Angstad from Locked On Mavs joins me now. And, and Nick, this has been a, a feel-good story, I would say, in a lot of ways for this Mavericks team to start the season um, exceeding a lot of people's expectations for them but it feels like they're bumping their head up against the ceiling of this team, and we saw it on Monday night. It's a feel-good story for me, Peter. I'll just say that. This team winning <laughs> games after what we went through last season with just how terrible that year was, this team now at least has some kind of baseline. They have this, this level of, all right, we're deep enough now. We can go one through 10, 11, 12 sometimes and feel, okay, these guys can at least come in and contribute. And last year it felt like, well, I don't know, one through five, sometimes one through four that can contribute and come in at, you know, at any given moment. And so now this team is very injured right now. They're without Kyrie yeah. Irving. He's been out for five games. Derek Lively is a rookie that's so integral to this. team. I mean, he, his defense has been so integral to what makes this Mavericks team as good as they are right now. His offense has been a lot better than people thought. I mean, he's had statistical games, points, rebounds, blocks, all that, that he hasn't had, that he didn't even have in college. And he was a number one player coming out of high school. And so you, you take all that and you, you're missing some of that in this game. Denver is just better than everybody else. They have a level of offensive and defensive chemistry from playing through to the NBA finals and winning to, you know, just being together for years and years now that other teams like the Mavericks just can't match, especially when they're undermanned like this. And Luca's been playing a ton of minutes. You mentioned it before. He had an incredible game in this one. He's had incredible games. He was the player of the week, but this load that he's kind of carrying right now, it doesn't really feel sustainable for a lot longer. Yeah. And, and he had 38, no other Maverick had more than 11 and Dante Exum was the one that had 11. No one else had double digits. That was the scoring burden that he had to shoulder in this game. Uh, this raises the question, I think, and I'm sure it's something that you've been talking about. Do they have to do something? And what is the urgency to do something this season uh, to, to buttress Luka Doncic? Or is it just like get everyone together and figure it out from there with, with Kyrie Irving and, and your guys healthy, lively, of course, as you mentioned, has been, speaking of feel-good stories, a terrific rookie story. Amazing, amazing story. The question though is do something to do what? What do you what do we expect yeah. this Mavericks team to do? Like where do we expect them to go this season? My my thing this whole season, even before the season started, even before some of the surprise feel good stories like Lively and Derek Jones Jr. and Dante Exxon that you mentioned before, even before some of those things started to pop up, we started to feel good about this team. I said, This team can't catch Denver. And so this season is a figure out what Luca and Kyrie can be together. For the most part, you found out some things about them. Kyrie's missed some games here or there, but you found you, you found some things out about that. And then you got to figure out who can be part of a title contending type team a year, two years, maybe even three years from now, because you have this rookie center that's coming in. You brought in Omax, who represents you know, a big wing that you desperately needed that position. You have some younger talent on this team. Luca is still only 24. You brought in Grant Williams, who's only 25, right? Like you, you brought in some, you got younger over the off season. And so this team has the, the ability at least to be a little bit more patient, even though we know with stars, once they hit a certain age, it's you've got to win or else the, the guy will leave. The other thing that, that's happened this season is that Luca has just really bought into being a leader and being in much better shape. He has hired, you know, he's hired a uh, personal like health and body development, like director, like for himself, that's just like over him. He has a personal trainer that, that travels with him. That is his, you know, fellow countryman from Slovenia. He's also got a nutritionist. Like he hired all these people over the summer and has really put it, put the work in. Uh, and this is something we've been waiting for from Luca for a while, but he's putting the work in the Mavericks now have to figure out, all right, what do we actually want to be this season? And are we good enough to maybe even get to the Western conference finals? Nobody else besides Denver is really sticking out. And if they can do that, then, then they'd have to probably go get another like defensive wing. They've got to up their defense in some way. Stay up to date all year on the Dallas Mavericks by subscribing to locked on sports today and locked on Mavericks on your favorite podcast app and on YouTube.